In this video, we shall discuss how to prepare ledger accounts directly without preparing the journal. Just by a simple rule of debit and credit, we are going to prepare ledger accounts. At the end of this video, I have uh, explained how to tally the ledger accounts also. So watch this video till the end. You will understand the preparation of ledger accounts and also tallying the ledger accounts. Let's move on to the video. For the purpose of preparing ledger accounts, I am classifying accounts into five categories. That is asset, liability, capital, expense, losses, revenues and gains. So what is an asset, liability, capital, expense, losses, revenues and gains? I have already explained in my video of journal entries. If you have not watched that video, the link I have given it in the description box. Watch that video for a better understanding. So first, initially we are classifying it under five categories and these categories we are grouping into two. We are grouping these five categories into two groups. The first group, group is asset, expenses and losses. So this asset, expenses and losses, we are grouping, in, grouping it. If this value of asset, expense or loss, if it increases, if the value of asset, expense or loss increases, what should we do? We should debit it. Okay. On the other hand, if the value decreases, what should we do? We should credit the account. So, if the value of asset, expense or loss increases, we will debit it. If the value of asset, expense and losses decreases, we will credit it. Okay. The next group is we are grouping liabilities, capital, revenues and gains. If the value of these increases, we will credit it. If their value decreases, we will debit it. This is a simple rule, simple rule of debit and credit. See the template or the format of ledger account. First, we will write the title of the account. Uh, title of the account means say for example if you are working out machinery account then your title will be machinery account. So this you will write it as your title machinery account this will be the title. If you are working out cash account it will be cash account. If you are working salaries account it will be salaries account. So title of the account is nothing but the account. Then this uh, ledger account will be divided into two sides you will have two sides of the ledger account the left hand side is called as the debit side see the left hand side we will call it as the debit side and the right hand side is called as the credit side and these are the columns we will provide in the debit side we will have the date column where we will record the date of the transaction we will have a particulars column jf column jf means journal folio we will write the page number of the respective account then amount, amount of the transaction. In the credit side also we will have the same thing, date, particulars, JF, amount. So this is the template of a ledger account. Okay, I have taken a question for example now, prepare ledger accounts from the following. And here I have given the rules of debit and credit. Okay, this is the first transaction, June 5, business started with cash. In my journal entry video itself, I told you, as soon as you see a transaction, you have to identify the two accounts. We have to record the dual aspect of a transaction. So we should look into the two accounts that are affected. See, here we are starting business with cash. So the two accounts that are affected are capital account and cash account. These are the two accounts. Okay. Capital comes under the second group, isn't it? Liabilities, capital, revenues and gains. So, capital comes under the second group. Now, what happens here? We are contributing capital. When we are bringing in capital, what happens? The amount of capital will increase. If your capital increase, what should you do? You should credit it. So, we have to credit here. Now, cash. Cash is an asset. It will come under the first group, asset. So, when you are contributing cash, you are bringing in capital in the form of cash. So, what happens? Your cash balance will also increase. So, if your cash increases, what should we do? We should debit it. Cash is an asset. Cash increases. So, we are debiting. 
you understood now let's see how to record this in the ledger started with the title see we are we are recording capital account so i have given it as capital account there are two sides debit side and the credit side and when we are bringing in capital as i already explained you capital increases if capital increases we have to credit it so we are recording it in the credit side this is the credit side we are recording it here okay first we are writing the date the date of the transaction is june 5 so i am writing june 5 in the particulars column if you are recording it in the credit side it should always start with by if you are writing ledger accounts and if you are writing an account in the credit side it should always have the prefix by so i am writing the prefix by okay now capital account is increased by what by cash contribution so by cash account okay in the credit in the amount column we will write 2 lakh rupees journal folio we will not write anything so i am leaving the column empty now the other account is cash account so when we are bringing in capital in the form of cash what happens our cash balance will also increase if your cash balance increase you will debit it so in the debit side we are recording we are writing the date and if you are recording a transaction in the debit side it should start with the prefix to whenever you are recording an account in the debit side of the ledger account you should start it with two so i am writing the word to two here and capital account cash account is increased by what by way of capital so capital account the amount column we are writing the amount of the transaction so i hope you understood this okay now the second transaction is june 8 we on june 8 we are opening a bank account 80000 rupees see what are the two transactions that are affected here one is bank and the other one is cash isn't it okay when you are opening a bank account bank is an asset okay when we are opening a bank account what happens our bank balance will increase we are depositing cash we are opening a bank account so our bank balance will increase so bank is an asset if your bank balance increase what should we do we should debit it okay now cash cash is also an asset when you are opening a bank account what happens your cash balance get reduced you are opening cash bank account for 80,000 rupees. So, your bank balance will increase by 80,000. You are giving the money to the bank. So, what will happen? Your cash balance will get reduced. Cash is an asset. If your cash balance gets reduced, what should you do? You should credit it. So, cash will be credited. Let us see how to record it in the ledger. See the title, I have given it as cash account. So, in the title we have given it as cash account. Okay. Now, already we have opened this cash account, isn't it? We have contributed capital that we recorded. Previous transaction we saw, we have contributed capital so that we have already recorded in the cash account. Now, on June 8, what happens? Cash balance is reduced on June 8 because we are opening a bank account. So, our cash balance is reduced. So, we have to credit it. So, since we are crediting it, I am starting with the prefix by and bank account amount column, I am writing 80,000 rupees amount of the transaction. Now, in the bank account, I am opening a bank account. In the bank account, the bank balance is increased. It is an asset, so I am debiting it. So, here in the date column, I am writing June 8. As usual, since we are writing it in the debit side, I am starting with the prefix to, to cash account amount is 80,000 rupees. Okay, the next transaction is uh, June 12, goods purchased on credit from Ramu, 30,000 rupees. So, the two accounts that are affected here is uh, purchases, purchases account and we are not paying goods by cash. See, it is given us on credit. So, cash is not involved here. Instead, it is a liability. We have to pay the amount to Ramu. These are the two accounts. Okay. Purchases is an expense. When we buy goods, it is an expense. So, when we buy goods, expenses increases. When we make an expense, expense will increase. If the expense increases, we have to debit it. 
So expenses is increasing, we are debiting it. Okay, Ramu is a liability. We have to pay cash to Ramu. So when we have to pay cash, liability will increase. So if your liability increase, what should we do? We should credit it. So liability is increasing. So we are crediting it. Let us see how to record it in the ledger. The title of the account is purchases account. We are having the two sides, debit side and in the credit side. Since per we are making an expense when we are buying purchases, the amount increases, expenses increases. So we are debiting it in the debit side in the date column we will write the date of the transaction date of the transaction is june 12 2 is the prefix that we will give to ramu's account amount is 30000 rupees in ramu's account ramu it is a liability your liability also increases so you are crediting it so in the credit side we are writing the date of the transaction by purchases account the amount is 30000 rupees Okay, the next transaction is on June 12, purchases office machines paid by check. So, we are buying machinery. We are buying machinery and we are paying by check. So, cash is not involved here, it is bank. So, it is bank account. So, when you are buying machinery, machinery is an asset. When you are buying an asset, what happens? The value of asset increases. If the value of asset increases, we will debit it. And bank is also an asset. When you are making payment, what happens? Your bank balance decreases. We are buying asset and we are paying through check. So, our bank balance decreases. If your asset decreases, what should we do? We should credit it. So, we are crediting it. In the bank account already we have opened the bank account we have opened a bank account on june 8 we have deposited cash with rupees 80000 rupees this is the transaction that is there already now on june 12 what are we doing we are buying office machinery so when you are buying a machinery your bank balance gets decreased bank is an asset if your balance gets decreased value of asset gets decreased we will credit it so, in the credit side, by office machinery, amount is 30,000 rupees. So, now we are, the next is office machines account. When you are buying office machinery, what happens? The value increases. If the value increases, it is an asset. If its value increases, we will debit it. So, in the date column, we are writing the date to bank account. The amount is 20,000 rupees. The next transaction is on June 18th, two accounts are rent account and we are paying by check not by cash so bank account okay rent is an expense when you make an expense what happens it increases so we are debiting it rent is an expense when you are making paying an expense the expense amount increases so we are debiting it bank is an asset when you make a payment what happens your bank balance gets reduced so you will credit it okay so we will record it in the journal in the ledger so bank account already bank account we have recorded two transactions uh, we have opened the bank account with 80000 rupees and we have purchased machinery that we have recorded now on june 18th we are making a payment we are paying rent so by rent account amount is 5000 rupees now in the rent account we are recording it in the debit side june 18 to bank account 5000 rupees okay now the next transaction is on june 20 to shiva 10000 rupees okay so the two tran two accounts are sales and shiva we are not receiving cash it is credit sales so cash is not received so the two accounts are sales and shiva sales is a revenue to the business so revenue when we make sales what happens our revenue increases if your revenue increases we will credit it see revenues and gains if it increase we will credit it okay so we are crediting it shiva is a debtor now he has to pay us money see in this case ramu is our liability here 
we have to pay money to Ramu, so he is our creditor, it is a liability. Here, Shiva has to pay his money, so Shiva is a debtor, debtor is an asset. So, when he has to pay his money, debtor, the value of de debtor increases, so this we will debit it. Okay, so let's see how to record it in the ledger. So, under Shiva's account, we are recording it in the debit side as already I told you. We are recording it in the debit side to sales. In the amount column we are writing the amount. In the sales account, we are recording it as by Shiva and in the amount column we are writing 10,000. Amount of the transaction. The next entry is on June 22nd, we are making a cash sales. Cash account and sales account. Okay, when we make cash sales, what happens? Cash will increase. Cash comes into the business, so cash will increase. Cash is an asset. If the value of asset increases, we will debit it. Sales is a revenue. It is an income. It is a revenue to the business. So, when we make sales, revenue increases. So, if the revenue increases, we will credit it. So, see how we have recorded in the ledger. So, in the sales account, already we have sold goods to Shiva on credit on June 20 that we have recorded. Now, on June 22nd, we are making a cash sales. Amount is 15,000 rupees. In the cash account, in the cash account already there is a capital that is being contributed for rupees 2 lakhs and we have opened a bank account. So, that has reduced our cash balance. We have recorded in the credit side. Now, we are making a cash sale. So, Date is June 22nd to sales account. Amount is 15,000 rupees. Okay. The next is on June 25. So, the two accounts that are involved here is cash account and Ramu's account. Cash is an asset. When you pay cash, we are paying cash to Ramu. So, when we are making a payment, our cash balance will get reduced. Cash is an asset. If the cash balance gets reduced, we will credit it. Ramu was our liability. See, here under purchases, we decided that Ramu is our liability. So, when you were, when we are making payment, what happens? Our liability gets reduced. Ramu is our liability. He is our creditor. It is a liability to us. When we are making payment, what happens? The To the extent of rupees 30,000, our liability gets reduced, isn't it? So, we will, if your liability gets reduced, we will debit it. So, let's see how to record it in the ledger. So, in the cash account, already we had a capital contribution. We opened a bank account. Then we made sales, cash sales. Now, we are paying money to Ramu on June 25th by Ramu's account, 30,000 rupees. And under Ramu's account, Actually, we purchased goods from Ramu. By purchases, 30,000 rupees. We purchased goods. Now, we are making a payment to him. On June 25th, we are making payments to cash account, 30,000 rupees. Okay, then the next transaction is on June 28th. So, the two accounts are Shiva account and since we are receiving a check, it is bank account. We did not receive cash, we received a check, so it is bank account. Okay. Shiva is our debtor. He has to pay money to us. See, here we decided that Shiva is our debtor. He has to pay money to us. Now, he is paying money. Okay, Shiva is paying money to us. So, when he is paying money, the value of the deb debit will come, will be reduced to the extent of 10,000 rupees. So, if our asset gets reduced, we will credit it. Bank is an asset, isn't it? So, when Shiva pays cash into the bank, the cash balance will increase. If your asset increases, we will debit it. So, in the ledger, in the bank account, so in the bank account, the previous transactions we have recorded. Uh, we have opened, we have opened a bank account for rupees 80,000 rupees and then we bought machinery, we paid rent. Now, we are receiving money from Shiva, 10,000 rupees. That we have recorded June 28 to Shiva's account, 10,000. Now, under Shiva's account, already Shiva, we have made a sales to them on June 20. 
we made a credit sales now shiva is paying money so we are crediting it by bank account 10000 rupees the last uh, transaction in this question is on june 30 salary paid in cash 600 so the two accounts are salary and cash account okay so salary is an expense when we pay expense the value the amount of expense will increase if your expense increases we will debit it cash is an asset so when we make payment what happens cash balance will get reduced if your asset gets reduced we will credit it so this is how we will record it in the ledger see under uh, salary account we have debited it to cash 6000 rupees in cash account these are all the previous transactions these are previous transactions now we are recording on june 30 by salary account 6000 rupees okay okay now we have recorded all the transactions in the month of june now this is the summary whatever we have recorded our ledger accounts this is how it will this is how we have recorded okay the first account that we opened was capital account isn't it we opened capital account in capital account in the month of june we had only one transaction we have contributed capital worth rupees 2 lakhs okay after this after the end of the month we will tally the ledger account tallying the ledger account is very simple uh, only two things you have to do first you have to find the total then you have to find the balancing figure okay you have to find the total of both the debit side and the credit side and then you will find the balancing figure okay now in this transaction in this capital account in the debit side this is the debit side right this is the debit side in the debit side there is nothing so your total of debit side is zero your credit total is two lakh rupees so we found the total of both the debit side and the credit side okay what total you have to write you have to write the highest total find the total of the debit side and the credit side and write the highest total on both the sides so here the highest total is 2 lakh rupees so we are writing 2 lakh rupees on both the sides both the debit and credit side after writing this you have to find the balancing figure how to find the balancing figure from the lowest total zero is the lowest total so you have to deduct the highest value the highest value is 2 lakhs so 2 lakhs minus zero what will be your answer your answer will be 2 lakhs that will be the balancing figure you understood we are finding the total of both the sides we are writing the highest total on both the sides after this we are finding the balancing figure what is this balancing figure your highest total minus lowest total so highest total minus lowest total will give you 2 lakh rupees where to record the balancing figure the balancing figure will be recorded on the side where you got the low balance here in the debit side only we have got the low balance so in the debit side we are recording the balancing figure b dot f stands for balancing figure and this will be recorded on the end the last day june 30th is the last day so on june 30th we are recording it as two balance carried down okay now this balance is called as a credit balance why we are recording it in the debit side but this balance is called as a credit balance why do we call it as a credit balance actually your credit balance only is high your debit balance is low and your credit balance is only high so this balance is called as a credit balance this carried down balance will be brought down to the next day on june 30th you are finding this balance so on july 1st you will bring down the balance by balance brought down you will record 2 lakh rupees yes you understood how to tally the account okay now the next account cash account we have recorded all the transactions in the month of june we have recorded all the transactions now we have to tally the account how to tally the account you have to find the total the total of the debit side 2 lakh 15000 will give you 2 lakh 15000 the total of the credit side 
eighty thousand, thirty thousand, six thousand. If you add all these things, the answer that you get is one lakh sixteen thousand. Which total is high? Two lakh fifty thousand is the highest total. So I am writing it on both the sides. Two lakh fifteen thousand highest total. I am writing it on both the sides. Now I have to calculate the balancing figure. How to calculate the balancing figure? Highest total minus lowest total. So the highest total is two lakh fifteen thousand minus one lakh sixteen thousand. The balancing figure will be ninety nine thousand. You understood? I am getting the lowest total in the credit side. So I am writing the balancing figure in the credit side. Understood? By balance carried down. Within bracket, balancing figure B dot F ninety nine thousand. How did I get this ninety nine thousand? Two lakh fifteen thousand minus one lakh sixteen thousand. Okay, so I have tallied the account. Now the next account is bank account. So bank account, we have recorded all the transactions for the month of June. We recorded all the transactions. Now find the total. Total of the debit side is eighty thousand, ten thousand. Will give you ninety thousand. Total of the credit side thirty thousand five thousand will give you thirty five thousand, which is the highest total. Ninety thousand is the highest, so I am writing ninety thousand on both the sides. Now we have to calculate the balancing figure. Balancing figure is ninety thousand minus thirty five thousand. The balancing figure will be fifty five thousand. So I am writing the balancing figure in the credit side. And bringing down the balance on the next day, two balance brought down fifty five thousand on July first. Okay, then purchases account. In the purchases account, we had only one transaction in the debit side, thirty thousand rupees. So the debit total will be thirty thousand. The credit total will be zero. Writing the highest total, thirty thousand, thirty thousand, and find finding the balancing figure. The balancing figure is thirty thousand rupees. How did I get this thirty thousand? Thirty thousand minus zero, and I am bringing down the balancing figure to the next day, July first. Two balance brought down thirty thousand rupees. The same way we are preparing Ramu's account. In Ramu's account, we have two transaction: one in the debit side, two cash account thirty thousand, and purchases account thirty thousand. See, in this account, there is no balancing figure at all. Thirty thousand, thirty thousand is the common total. We don't have any. Balancing figure. So find the total. There is no balancing figure. No need to carry down any balance. No need to brought down any balance. Also, okay. The next is office machines account. In the office machines account, we have only one transaction in the debit side. So the total of the debit is twenty. Total of the credit is zero. Find the balancing figure. Twenty thousand minus zero. Twenty thousand is the balancing figure. We are carrying down the balance and bringing down the balance to the next date. In the same way, rent account also. You have only one transaction in the debit side, five thousand rupees. Credit side, there is nothing, so the total is zero. Now find the balancing figure. Balancing figure is five thousand. Bring down the balancing figure to the next day. In the same way, Shiva's account. In the Shiva's account. In the debit we have ten thousand. In the credit also we have ten thousand. So common total, both the total ten thousand, ten thousand. There is no balancing figure. No need to carry down any balance or brought down balance. Then sales account. In sales account we have two entries, ten thousand and fifteen thousand, both in the credit side. So the total of the credit is twenty five thousand. In the debit side. We don't have any total. It is zero. So find the balancing figure. It is not twenty thousand. It is twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand minus zero. You will get twenty five thousand as your balancing figure. We are carrying down the balance and bringing down the balance to the next day on July first. Then salary account. Salary account also only one transaction in the debit side. Six thousand. Credit side the total is zero. So now the balancing figure will be six thousand rupees. Bring down the balancing figure to the next day. So this is how we have to prepare ledger account, tally the ledger account, calculate the balancing figure, and bring down the balancing figure.
hope you understood uh, how to prepare ledger accounts and found this video useful. Thank you for watching.